Hey everyone, Far Cry 5 was released yesterday and so of course NVIDIA released their game ready driver for it as well. I'll show you the results of running the built-in benchmark before and after the driver update side by side. On the left here is driver 391.24 and on the right is the new driver 391.35. I'm playing at my normal resolution of 2560 by 1440 at ultra preset settings. More on my settings on a little bit though. And you can see here that there is a reasonable performance increase for me. I'm running a EVGA 1080 Ti SC Black Edition graphics card, 32 gigs of 3000 megahertz Corsair memory, and an Intel i7 5820K at 4.2 gigahertz. The game, however, is showing the stock speed at 3.3 gigahertz, so ignore that. So once the benchmark ends, you can see my average frame rate increases from 92 frames per second to 97 frames per second which is about a 5.5% increase in performance, and you can probably expect similar improvements from most of the 10 series cards. Now will you notice the improvement? Probably not. I know I won't. But if for example you have a G-Sync monitor and the game is running at the edge of the lower limit of your monitor's G-Sync window, this can potentially bump you up and keep you safer in that range. Or similarly, if you are running 60Hz monitor and the frame rate sometimes dips below 60 frames per second with your settings and you'd prefer not to sacrifice graphical settings to stay above 60fps, then maybe this driver might help with that. So this won't matter much for some, but for others, yeah, it might. Some drivers hurt performance in games, but this one definitely helps, so install it if you haven't yet. Now back to my other comment about my settings. Before recording the right hand video of this benchmark, the one with a 5% increase, I was actually getting much worse performance than before the driver update. After about 10 minutes of panicking that I had installed a faulty driver or that I messed something up, I noticed that Nvidia decided to automatically pick the quote unquote best graphic settings for me and thus bump the resolution scaling up from 1 to 1.2 for me. What this basically did was render the game at 1.2 times higher the set resolution, and in my case 2560 by 1440 and then scaling it back down to my monitor resolution, all to improve anti-aliasing, which are the jagged lines you see in console games. <clears throat> anyway, here's how to change that if you also notice a performance decrease and you're not sure why. In options, you're going to go to video, and then you're going to click on the rightmost icon with the gears titled advanced settings. And at the bottom, you'll see resolution scale, and you're going to hit that left arrow until it goes down to 1, if it's anything above like it was for me at 1.2. Again, this is just if you don't want extra resolution scaling and you hadn't set it up before. So hopefully that helps you. Anyway, thanks for watching, and hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. Now, time to get back to Hope County. See ya! Listen up, kid. The valley is turning into a war zone.